Airbus helicopters has been present in India for several decades. In response to the growing demand for helicopters, Airbus is launching two new platforms towards the end of the year and two more by next year. In an exclusive interview with MIG TV, Regis Antomarshi, the head of sales in India and South Asia, talks to Media India Group about the current market, future plans and potential customer segments. Airbus Helicopters in India. So first of all, I am very happy uh, for having joined uh, Airbus Helicopters in India. Uh, I arrived in uh, January this year. Uh, for me, it means a lot. And uh, it means a lot not only for me, but I think it means a lot for Airbus as a whole. Uh, India is considered today as a region by itself, uh, in the same way that other uh, continents. India and all the South Asia subcontinent is considered as a region by itself, which is a very powerful message uh, on the uh, growth expected from India. Uh, so today, uh, India is really considered as a fast-growing market for Airbus, and for us, it means a lot. Today in India, um, Every helicopter's fleet is around 90 helicopters, meaning we represent one third of the civil and parapublic uh, market. Uh, we expect a very big uh, growth from this market uh, because India is by itself uh, a growing market. Uh, there is one very significant uh, indicator on this growth. Uh, we are able to introduce a very brand new product on the Indian market, it's the H145. We have already two platforms that are flying right now. End of the year, we will have four that fly. And mid of next year, we already know that we will have six of them. So we see that this brand new product, which is really a state of the art, modern machine, uh, very versatile multi-mission machine, which is a bestseller throughout the world, is having its own market. And we see that India is also adopting this, uh, this machine. So we see that the trend uh, we see all over the world is also, uh, we, we can also experience it in India. We have uh, three mature uh, segments in India. We have the corporate and the transport, which is uh, already uh, a very mature market. Uh, we have a second one, which is the oil and gas. The oil and gas market is a very significant one. Uh, we have uh, major operators like uh, Powerlands, which is a state company. Today, I would say that EMS uh, sector is one of the most uh, promising markets mm -hmm. uh, because there is a fundamental need here. Uh, throughout the world, you have thousands of helicopters flying for air ambulance. Uh, you have 1,200 Airbus helicopters, uh, machines flying throughout the world. Uh, we represent 60% of, uh, of this market. Our presence in India is quite a long one. Uh, for example, we have been there for the last 40 years. Uh, we have been uh, in very close cooperation with uh, HAL. HAL uh, was producing uh, helicopters from the Airbus Helicopters family, is the Cheetah and the Cheetah. Uh, we have a very close cooperation with HAL. We have a very close cooperation with Powerlands. Powerlands uh, is a very old uh, customer for us. Uh, it is our biggest operator on Dauphin family. We are operating Dauphin for the last 30, 35 years, mm -hmm. something like this. Yeah. The first machines were delivered uh, in uh, 1986, mm -hmm. so 33 years ago. So it is a very well-known market for us. And over the last five, 10 years, of course, uh, we are we have experienced uh, a growth, but I would say that the biggest growth is the one to come. Mm. 
the age of the existing helicopters in the Indian forces is quite old and the need for renewal is very important. Uh, and today Airbus is proposing a very wide range of products for the Indian forces and we are already uh, answering to some tenders. In India, those uh, tenders are long, are complex. Uh, after its OEMs to take the time to be patient, uh, it's not an easy way, it's not an easy job to purchase hundreds of helicopters. So it is our role to be patient and to uh, respect the tenders. So uh, on the NUH, uh, we have answered. Uh, so four platforms have been uh, proposed today. And uh, now we are waiting for the RFP for it. Please. And we expect the, uh, the RFP to come in the next process.